If you've been paying attention today, you're surely aware that the Exynos 2400 and Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 SoC-powered Galaxy S24 Plus and S24 Ultra have debuted in benchmarks. These Geekbench entries validated several suspicions that have been circulating for months, however there is a twist when it comes to the version of the Galaxy S24 Ultra that will be available for purchase in the United States and Europe. It has also appeared on Geekbench with some results. On the one hand, this benchmark verifies that the S24 Ultra will be equipped with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor in Europe, while the Basic and Plus variants will feature the Exynos 2400 chip instead. These new benchmark results, on the other hand, provide a difficulty, the benchmark scores for the European Galaxy S24 Ultra are actually lower than those reported by the S24 Plus Exynos 2400 variant. Take a look at the screenshot to see how the European S24 Ultra, which is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, outperforms both its American brother and the Galaxy S24 Plus, which is powered by an Exynos 2400 chip. In single-core testing, the European model achieved 4,506 points out of a possible 2059 points. The US edition with the chip, on the other hand, obtained better scores of 2,234 and 6807, respectively. Surprisingly, with scores of 2067 and 6520, the Exynos 2400-powered Galaxy S24 Plus outperformed its Snapdragon cousin. The European version of the S24 Ultra with Snapdragon seems to be falling behind in terms of performance. However, we must keep in mind that these are release versions or prototypes, and Samsung hasn't completely tuned their CPUs for their forthcoming flagship handsets, so we are quite likely to see benchmark results when the Galaxy S24 series is finally announced next year. To be completely honest, although these benchmark results may not be significant right now, they do give some comfort that the S24 Ultra will actually feature the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset in all regions, including Europe. So it's too early to pass judgment on the Geekbench results, but seeing some amazing performance from Exynos might be a positive indicator for Samsung's next initiatives. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So without being said let me know your thought in the comment below, and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.